Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to bring you guys some more Brick Odyssey. Uh, last time we played, obviously we've been trying to uh, crack through some of these uh, achievements to unlock, you know, all sorts of new, uh, you know, items and stuff like that. Last time, uh, we automatically unlocked Black Powder, and uh, we also unlocked the Tarot Cards. Uh, you know, just from the really, really hard challenge of unlocking or upgrading the reset threshold to 30. Uh, so what I wanted to do this time, obviously there's a couple that we could try to do just while we play, right? The Goblin War Chief without, uh, the axe touching the paddle, kill the Wasp Queen while two or more, uh, small wasps are alive, or beat the Primordial Essence without using any recalls. But what I wanted to try to do was once again try to do the f win a fight against the Frog King after having burned its tongue, and also complete a run with only one type of brick upgrade. So something that we've been trying to do a little bit, um, you know, go uh, and I think we're gonna try it with the ranger here uh, just because the ranger obviously can potentially try to um, you know shoot those specific things uh, so this is what we're gonna try to do here um, reduces all damage taken by one so those are the tarot cards we unlocked last time uh, two manual reset I just think that's not great right um, especially not for this build so we'll just take breastplate I don't want to waste my reroll this early on um, breastplate reducing all damage taken by one pretty good right not the worst thing ever here um but yeah let's just let's just do it here um so obviously we have that one curse brick that we're trying to get rid of right um but so pretty much uh we're trying to win the game uh with only having one brick type which will be uh oh jeez, which will be obviously the uh the fire um and uh we're gonna also try to burn the frog's tongue and um, obviously just try to beat storm level six, right? That's obviously, you know, there's 15 levels of ascension. Also, let me turn the volume up here. Uh, caused me to lose the ball, but it is, uh, is worth it for your viewing experiences. I think that should be better. Let me know if it's still too quiet. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're gonna try to do. So we obviously just trying to, you know, beat the high difficulties uh, and uh, trying to uh, unlock a, you know, a couple different relics as well. Um, it is really, really cool, though, that, you know, these challenges exist. Definitely gives us a lot of fun replayability. Makes us try different characters in different situations and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not going to take anything here because, um, you know, we're very specifically going for something. Um, I definitely think in the future we could try a full-on poison build. Or just if we got poison bricks, I think that would definitely be uh, the big way to, to beat the wasp uh, by only... Or beat the wasp without... Um, while having two other of the bees or whatever still alive because the poison would just hit the hit the back person, right? So if we somehow either if we win this, that's probably what we'll try to do next time. Um, otherwise, if we like keep losing this, you know, then maybe, maybe we just try to do that so we at least unlock something, right? But um, we've been trying to burn this dang frog's tongue for a while because we got a we got a grudge, we got a dr grudge on this uh, on this frog, right? He's been he's been very naughty to us, so. Um, we're gonna we're gonna make him pay. Um, also, took a lot of damage from that one uh, projectile there. Definitely want to get our uh, reset threshold, you know, high up as well. Um, just so we have like multiple chances uh, when we have all those pyro balls and stuff. And I think doing all pyro ball isn't the worst thing ever because it does really allow you to just you know get through certain uh, fights so easily. Just you know because it's just burning through everything, right? Um, and this is considered, I think this is the elite fight, right? Yeah. So we're not struggling at all here. It's just going to take us a little bit of time, except we probably just killed right there. Yeah, we killed the main thing. Yeah, Ranger's always fun because you can just target exactly what you want. That's why I think it would be good for this frog challenge here. Um, you know, just hit what we want, right? Also, definitely want map. Combats and chests will no longer appear hidden on the map. That is so good early on, so we can just make sure to fight as much as stuff that we want. Uh, Scavenger still haven't taken any uh, brick upgrades because we're only looking for pyro balls, right? Um, but oh yeah, this is the new music that got added last update. Very very simple board, nothing nothing too crazy here, right? Oh, I missed just both of those arrows. We're already about to win this. No, no, I don't want to hit that. Don't hit that curse brick. Curse bricks are bad. Bad, I tell you. Um, and we should have it in three, two, and one. Nice. 
Um, okay, still don't see Pyro Brick. So we're just taking a bunch of gold, I guess. Um, okay. Uh, Dreamcatcher. We're not worrying about Curse Bricks. Not caring about Multi Ball. Don't care about explosives. So I'll reroll this. Fires one rocket that will target a random brick when the hero is hit. Creates a multi ball each time your HP drops below. Okay, when an explosion does oh, an explosion doesn't hit any bricks, the ball gains power level sign. I'm just gonna skip these relics plus one reset threshold. Didn't really like any of them for the build that we're trying to do. Still do not see um, pyro brick, which is a little bit concerning here. But we're, we're trying a very specific challenge, right? So totally get if um, you know we don't find exactly what we're looking for here. Nice. Just don't hit that curse brick. Yeah, just go far away from that curse brick. And also, yeah, the the we get the more arrows every time the ball hits the the wall or the I guess ceiling. And if you guys were have never seen this game, if you haven't, definitely recommend it. Um, definitely fills kind of a similar itch that Peglin does. Which speaking of Peglin, uh, there is a new Peglin update coming out tomorrow. The Peglin update that we've been waiting forever for finally comes out tomorrow as of recording this. By the time this video is out, I'm sure that video will already be out. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty excited about that. I think it's just going to come out in the beta. They're a little bit behind schedule, but um, there should still be a lot of fun stuff. So I'm going to try to do like a small stream tomorrow just for a single Peglin video, right? You got to check out the new update we've been waiting for forever, right? Um, okay, still do not see any... Um, Pyroball. Um, I'm not able to buy any Pyroball either. This is a little bit sad. Um, okay. Every bounce on a wall gives the main ball a small burst of speed. We'll buy that. And then we'll just do reset, reset, reset threshold three times. Making us, you know, reset a little bit more often. And... I guess we're going to get one elite here. I hope we can get any some amount of Pyroball. I mean, that's what we're trying to do here, so <laughs> really hope that we can we can figure that out. Obviously, one of the achievements as well is beating the um, just the game in general in 25 minutes or less, which that's something that we may have to try to play on um, uh, the lowest difficulty, right? I mean, I imagine I know that like it's probably possible on like the hardest difficulty, but also yeah, look at how f much faster the ball goes when it hits the wall because of that new relic we just got. Which ends up, obviously, you know, we want it going fast because that means it hits bricks. Oh, my gosh. It hits bricks more often, you know. And um, also kind of just counter or uh, synergizes. You know, we want to be hitting the wall anyways um, with the, uh, the ranger because that's what gives us the, uh, the, the ammo, you know, the bows. Still no, uh, still no pyro ball, which is a little bit, a little bit scary. That's fine, though. But yeah, just if I can just keep. Oh yeah, look at that. That I already got like almost max ammo, you know, for my um, my thing there. Game doesn't like you today. It doesn't it doesn't feel like that. Those doesn't doesn't feel like it does. But I mean, it's not a bad build so far. I mean, the relics we've gotten are pretty pretty good universally. Um, you know, we have the we have the map right. I mean, to be fair, I was I was hoping for a little bit more um, uh, chests or elites, whatever. Um, this floor, but we didn't really find them, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll be able to get a crap ton of bleeds next time. Just stacking as many relics. It feels good to be able to uh, take relics. If you guys didn't see last episode, last episode we obviously tried to do the, um, the challenge that we were trying to do was to have a uh, 30 reset threshold, which we have 16 and we've upgraded it a couple times. So if you haven't seen that video, you can imagine how hard that was. But we, we just couldn't take any relics <coughs> because, um, yeah, we just had to keep, you know, doing the upgrade things. Finally found Pyro Ball. We got one Pyro Ball here. Um, hit, oh, wow. So we don't have either of these bricks, so we just lose 15 HP. What a bet. Um, heal, don't want either of those. So we'll fight the elite before we fight the boss. Um, so this is obviously, if we could somehow, I don't know how. I, I don't think it's actually possible with what we have right now. But so one of the achievements was obviously to kill that wasp queen while there were still two bees. Um, but I don't believe that we really have a way to do that. Um, I think poison would be the way to do that. I, I can't think of any of maybe like certain specific relics may um, may help, right? Uh, but overall, I think you really need 
Um, oh, geez, that went so fast. You really need poison, I would imagine, to to do this. So if we somehow, like, win the... Um, I'm just, like, already trying to plan out all my, like, next, like, challenge runs, you know, trying to unlock everything. It was just so fun. It just had so much replayability, you know? Oh, man. A lot of damage there. So we have that one fire pyro ball. So I guess I could try to target it here once I get my ammo. Okay, we got two ammo. That'll be enough. Let's, let's do it. Okay, pyro ball. Let's go. That was it. I mean, that's still good. It's just... Because it's not even the fact that there have to be two Bs. There got to be uh, one B. I guess, you, yeah, there's maybe certain relics like the ones that do, like, AoE damage. Like, if it was at, like, 10 HP, you might be able to, like, set it up. Where you do damage to everything, barely let the other Bs live, right? And then have her map wasps. So, okay. We got the String of Thorn Brick, which isn't... We don't want that. Poison Brick applies the second poison. Don't want that. Block the first three ranged attacks that would hit you. I guess we'll take that. We got a lot of defense here. Dev has some pretty cool ideas planned. Very, very excited to, uh, to see him. We got a second Pyro Ball. So obviously this map, the Ranger is absolutely amazing at. This is the one we got to try to destroy all of the Hydra Heads. Those things at the top. Because uh, it gets all of its health back um, every time that we, uh, we do a refresh. And uh, hitting these Hydra Heads. Um, give us mm, or reduce its max HP. So I can just target. Oh, rip. 21 into a reset. I'm close to hitting a lot of these ones here. There we go. Okay. Nice. Oh, rip. Very close to that. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. So we can hit that head. Um, I'm going to just keep doing this so I get. Yeah, Ranger is so good against this boss. So we've already destroyed two of the Hydra heads. We reset in six more, so I doubt. Actually, okay, let's let's okay, let's try this here. A little bit, yeah, two more. I don't think we can get it here. No, <laughs> yeah. So we reset, obviously. He got all of his uh, health back, except the uh, little bit of max HP that we did not allow him to get back. We have to wait until... The one thing with Ranger is sometimes it, it takes a while to actually hit the um, the wall. I guess it's hitting the ceiling now, so that works. Let me try to... Even if I have to hit that attack thing, you just want to hit these Hydra... You really got to just cut all the Hydra heads off um, before you can do everything. Do anything. Um... Weird. Okay, come on. We're so close. Okay, we got that one. And now I just need... Come on. Okay, okay. We just purposely hit this one. Nice. Cut two more heads off, so we only have two more heads to go. Okay. Just try to throw it all the way. Oh, rip. Rip. It's not a great power. Oh, it wasn't a great power ball either. So the other head's over here on the right side that we're going after. Oh, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. So now we're going to just try to... Okay, I've taken a little bit more damage here than I'm actually comfortable with. To be completely honest. It's like the fact that the ball speeds up when it hits the wall is overall pretty... Oh, yeah, we're at 83. Oh, my gosh, we're at 83 HP. Um, it's like overall really good, but nice. Okay, we cut off all the walls or heads, whatever. So now... Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, we're at 56 HP. I gotta be careful here. Don't have any more rerolls either. We're at 47 HP. Yeah, I think it's gonna reset. Okay. So we should be able to kill now as long as we don't take 43 damage. We hit the curse brick to four more damage. We have our rerolls back, so. Or recalls. Yeah, we should have it. Nice! So what special relic? Projectile speed's doubled and an aim tracker appears above the paddle. An active skill has a 10% chance of shooting a multi-ball or block plus two for each brick destroyed by the ranger's active skill. Uh, let's just do the composite bow. I don't think we've taken that one.
We get like a laser, little laser thing. Pyro ball. Okay, we want to fight as many elites as we can, which looks like we're just only going to be able to get two here on the left side because the frog is an elite. We're trying to burn the frog's tongue. Um, minus, okay, do not want the thorn brick, so we're just going to look away around it. Um, heal. Because, yeah, even though we have uh, pyro bricks, it's not even a guarantee that we're, um, you know, we're going to even be able to get what we're looking for. So this aim tracker is interesting. Which hopefully will help us, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, those projectiles go a lot faster, too. Hopefully, uh, you know, help us snipe some pyro balls if we get the frog elite. Obviously, we have to get hopeful and lucky that we even get the frog uh, elite, you know. Okay, come on. Come on. I need, I need to be doing more damage here. Not doing a ton of damage. Starting to hit me now. That's the thing. I don't know how much raw damage we really have in this build. You know? A little bit worried. There we go. There we go. That was a good pyro ball. That was a lot of damage. Even then, though, it's like, look look at this. We just don't have that much damage. Because all of our things have kind of just been defense. Oh, that's a little bit scary. Um, okay. Heal. That was, a, that was a hard fight. Okay. We're just trying to snipe these pyro balls. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have just gone all defense. It's just like none of the things really fit my build. You know? That I had been offered. See, so that was me sniping the pyro ball. Nice. There's some damage. There's some damage. There's some damage. But like even the this relic, you know, the thing that gives us the, you know, thing, the uh, laser little pointer here, that's not really inherently giving us more damage either. I mean, oh man, like see, we're still taking damage here. Okay, cheese. Heal again. So okay, hopefully it's the frog. Frog elite. Frog elite. Frog elite. It is the frog elite. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. We got to get him to burn his tongue. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Nope, so he already, so we so we have to have our pyro ball. So when he's trying to get us, when he's trying to get that, we can shoot this. Okay, here we go, here. Come on, no, oh, it was pyro balled. He didn't grab it though, correctly. He didn't grab it in time. See, it's like, this is a hard challenge to do. Definitely a hard challenge to do. Okay, I'm just gonna wait on this one here. Hard challenge here. What? Oh, see, it was on fire. He just couldn't catch it. I'm trying so hard. To get him to catch his tongue on fire. I don't even care if I lose the run. Like, I just need him to... Okay, here we go. No! I was one ammo away! I was one ammo away there. Oh, dude, this is such a hard challenge to do. Okay, okay, come on. Okay, here we go. Come on, grab it, grab it, grab it! No! Dude, we're gonna die trying to do this. That's 100% what's going to happen right now. Oh, and these, these pyro balls are way too hard to find to get here. Oh, my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Oh, dude, this challenge is so hard. Okay, prepping. Okay, it's on fire. No! No! It was on fire! Why couldn't you grab it? Oh, you freaking frog. We're gonna lose here. We're gonna lose. Come on, we got one more chance here. I have five HP. 
No, I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. Rip. Oh, dude, it's such a hard challenge. It's such a hard challenge. I can't even. I really don't think there's anyone better to do this challenge. Besides maybe the elementalist with the earthquake, but I don't even think so. Engineer, maybe. Let's do. Let's try engineer. Engineer can maybe make sense. Paladin is good. I just don't know how that would help me hit the pyro balls, right? Uh, Reroll thorns. Okay, rainbow bottle. Rainbow bottle early gets you so much money. He has the relic to light the ball on fire when he misses chalice. Seems like a very specific thing. Seems like, I mean, maybe, yeah. Also, I don't have, what, any elites here? Oh, man. No guaranteed elites right now. Which means I probably want as many question marks as I can. We just didn't have very many pyro balls. So, obviously, if you guys haven't seen the engineer, the engineer is, like, one of my favorite classes here. We got to go grab upgrades that will do different things, right? So, that just increase the chances of this to be a shotgun shot. The different classes in this game are amazing. And like I said, if you haven't seen our videos, uh, we got a whole playlist of uh, content on this game. So now we have a chance to shoot rockets. This class is just so much fun. And obviously it's like, probably should be trying to do this on a lower difficulty, but I do also genuinely want to try to like, you know, keep upping up on the crucible levels or I love the engineer. Engineer's pretty dope. Uh, cool. Okay, don't have pyro balls, so we'll just take gold. Okay, hopefully we get an elite on these question marks. Uh, nope, don't want a random brick upgrade. Normally I would, but it's not gonna be a pyro ball. Okay, don't want to, uh, no pyro ball. Okay. Shotgun shots. See, I probably want to try to save all of my um, ammo for one time because uh, that uh, glass bottle or whatever gives us more HP depending on... Um, or more gold, depending on the amount of bricks destroyed in like a small period of time. So like that's gonna give me a crap ton of gold. Cause I just destroyed what, that many bricks all at once. It's a hard challenge when you stick to only one brick type. Yeah, for real. Especially if you can't find it, right? Okay, three chests. Deliver an extra ball when the balls are called. Throw an extra attack. When a cursed brick's destroyed, inflict damage. Uh, explosive brick. I guess when a cursed brick is destroyed, it's like 10 damage to the first enemy. So we theoretically could... Still don't see it. Uh, we theoretically could... You're allowed to have cursed bricks. Cursed bricks don't count as a brick type for that challenge, I've been told. So, that's also theoretically another way we could kill the... Um, the bee while you still have his people out, but... I'm determined to burn this dang frog's tongue. Tongue. I am determined. And yeah, we're always going to just keep trying to save the maximum amount of ammo here. So... We can get as much gold as possible, because then, you know, if we get a crap ton of gold from this, um, and we can buy a crap ton of relics and things from the shop, you know, it'll hopefully counteract only being able to have one type. And I do think that the engineer is a little bit more well-rounded, right, with all of these different upgrade types. So I think this maybe would, you know, the flamethrower there. Oh, flamethrower. Yeah, flamethrower could be an also potential way to kill that uh, thing. So if we see, if we go to that wasp thing, we'll try to only do the flamethrower. Still don't see a curse brick or a whatever. Pyro, hopefully there's some here. Uh, so we got a pyro ball. Um, and then, yeah, we'll do bouncy ball. Oh, well, we're not playing. I probably should have actually taken that. Whatever, reset, reset. Only do two reset thresholds here. So you want to have enough money in case there's a certain good event. We're going to take as many question marks as possible, hoping that these are elites. Um, at least we got one pyro ball. Doing better than we had previously. But yeah, 
Yeah, no, Engineer, Engineer is so much fun. I don't think we've played Engineer in like two episodes or something. Very fun. I think it's probably my favorite class in the game. Got that flamethrower attack. Yeah, because I'd have to get lucky to hope to get the flamethrower like at the perfect moment even for the B fight. I really think poison's the way you gotta do that B fight challenge. Because I imagine also, I think like if I somehow uh, burn the frog's tongue and I don't, I'm not able to uh, complete the other challenge of only having one brick type at the same time. I think rocket bricks are definitely probably um, a, a decent way to do that. Um, no, uh, no pyro ball. We need more pyro ball than this. Okay, here's the wasp here. I just, so if we destroy the curse brick, there's a, uh, do 10 damage to the back enemy so could theoretically try to save the curse brick um, for when that guy only has 10 HP left but I don't know that's that's a very hard thing to do and then the other, other thing is like maybe the flamethrowers we get lucky with it but explosive shots Man, I'm taking a lot of damage here though I really am. Okay, come on. Give me the shield. Yeah, the shield's really good against the projectile. Uh... Oh my, dude, the engineer's just insane, man. The engineer is just insane. But yeah, anytime that you have a projectile fight, you want to just keep upgrading your shield. Eventually, it'll start consuming ammo and all this other crazy stuff for you here. Okay, so we have, what, 25... 20... Okay, he's got 20 HP here. So we try, do we try to... I, I, there's, I don't know. Um, paddle shoots a multi ball when not touched. Throw two multi balls, start every fight. Deliver an extra attack when the ball. I'm just gonna reset threshold. None of those were good because we also have less damage than everyone else. No pyro. Um, we'll just yeah, we'll heal. We need more pyro ball. Dang it! We need more pyro ball. We are earning so much money though from getting glass bottle first. Glass bottle first is actually kind of cracked. And once we get max ammo, that's when we'll go all out. Okay, here we go. Well, let me wait, let me wait till reset threshold actually. Let me wait till that happens and I'm just gonna unload. Oh, like, that's just insane. That's so satisfying. And we got Pyro Ball there. We've already done all this here. I can spend a whole hour restarting the game until I get Glass Bottle first. Yeah, I normally, uh, I can definitely see why. Glass Bottle first is, is very good. You end up getting so much money. That's why I'm, I, have, I do have faith in this build. Now, about burning the frog's tongue, I don't know about that. But, you know, we'll try. Okay, come on. Give me an elite. Give me a... Dude, we haven't fought, what, any elites here yet? Goblin. Um, get an extra recall. No, I don't want less reset threshold. But I don't want a multi-brick because that'll ruin it all. So I got an extra recall. My reset threshold's worst. We did get a pyro ball, though. So that's nice. And we are fighting, once again, the, uh, the same uh, boss here, the Hydra. Though an extra recall's not that bad. Can help burn the frog tongue. That is true. That is true. Is true. Yeah, that thing, the, the ball going faster when it hits it's a little bit hard to deal with. And I am obviously not as precise here with the engineer, um, cause you're, you don't get full control on where it shoots. Oh man, I need to get the shields. Oh, now we have a poison attack. Oh, poison attack would have been a way to hit the queen too. Oh man, yeah, the engineer actually has a couple different options to try to hit the queen. So we only were able to destroy one Hydra head there. I'm gonna go ahead and recall. Let's start getting our shield up. Absorbing shield there. 
keep upgrading the absorbing shield. There's so many projectiles here. Faster shield regeneration. There we go. Got one of the Hydra heads. Let's go ahead and get the other shield generation. I guess having recalls also help us um, um, get upgrades more. Because we can just, like, recall. We can just get an upgrade, right, and recall. I am worried, though. I thought this was going to be a little bit better at targeting certain bricks. And it's, it is not as good as I remember here. Also, that is not where I meant to throw it. I just got spooked by the... Like, look at this. Like, I'm trying to hit that Hydra head in the far back. And it's like, is it, it going to hit it? I don't know. So I am taking so much damage here. Now, theoretically, I scale really well, right? Um, because I keep getting the upgrades, but... Oh, I think a rocket somehow um, destroyed one of the Hydra heads. But yeah, see, I can just keep getting all these upgrades, so I'd say the recall is probably good. Oh man, that's not what I. Ugh. Come on, there we go. Got that Hydra head. We got one more Hydra head to get. Rocket's got it. Nice. Okay, we have 60 health. Um, a little bit worried about that, but I think we killed. Nice. Okay. So, ammo reloads faster. 10% chance to not consume ammo. Uh, faster upgrading time and recalling the ball will reroll all upgrades currently on the board. Unlock a fifth upgrade powerful beam that destroys all bricks in a thin vertical line. I'm going to just say ammo because I really need to just be hitting the pyro ball upgrades. Pyro ball. Nice. We found pyro ball. We're going to get two elites here on the left. Okay. Hopefully one of these is the frog, and hopefully we can burn the frog's freaking tongue here. Don't have a lot of health here, though. Okay. Let's just hopefully not take a bunch of damage here. I'm gonna recall here, get all these upgrades. Because we can just hold that gun down more. Oh, jeez. Well, I don't want to take a bunch of damage here. Okay, let's get the Pyro Ball. Did take damage from the Curse Brick. Oh, jeez. We may die here. We may just straight up die here. Come on. It's not my time yet, please. It's not my time. Oh my god, we have 12 HP. Okay, as much as I want to take that power ball, can't. I don't, we have 82 HP. Just be the frog and let me get the achievement. Okay, it is the frog. It is the frog. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's three pyro balls to the right there. Oh my gosh, I need definitely these shields here first. Come on, let me just get the, oh, okay. Oh, dude, the pyro ball does not last nearly enough. I've already, I've already triggered all of them. Pyro ball does not uh, last long enough at all. Look at him swirling his tongue around my balls. This is why we gotta burn his tongue. We gotta freaking get some manners here, man. Okay. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got we got a couple more chances here. Please, game. Let me get this achievement here. Okay. It's on fire. I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got the achievement. French cuisine. I got it. We did it. We did it. We got it. We got it. I don't even care if we lose. Obviously, I don't want to lose, but we got it. We got the achievement here. We got the achievement, so we unlocked the new item. And then if we, you know, survive, we can actually see what the item is. But we did it. I was expecting like an animation. I was, I didn't think that I actually did it. So now the other achievement that we're trying to obviously do here is uh, to win the game with only one brick upgrade, right? 
which um been hard so far um you know but at least we at least we got um you know one of the the harder achievements here that we were trying to do right so we're still only there we go alchemy flask let's go oh yeah we had to win the fight i forgot about that uh, creates an explosion if the ball is already ignited when a pyro ball buff is received. Didn't that relic already exist? Creates an explosion if the ball is already ignited when a pyro ball buff is received. Did, I feel like they took some of the, the vanilla relics and just made them achievements. I could have sworn Alchemy Flask was in this game then already, now that I think about it. It's not a new relic, it's just locked behind a challenge. <laughs> so we keep trying to unlock all these challenges and they're not even new, which I guess to be fair, I'm like one of the, you know, uh, I'm very early to playing this game. But it does feel weird that, I don't know, we keep working towards all these uh, challenges or achievements and then they like either aren't great items or they're items that we already had. That's a little bit disappointing, but cool for new people right but i definitely think that the dev should refrain from doing that in the future <laughs> for real um okay increase paddle speed here uh, we definitely have to take health here try to fight the other elite most challenges give new relics i guess just yeah this one doesn't which i mean still fun to try to complete it i just i'm not gonna lie they definitely a little bit of a disappointment but the goal is to complete all the achievements, and we can still try to do that here, right? Or we're still slowly making progress for that. This is a kind of hard elite. I imagine, hopefully, that we'd have enough damage for this here. Got more rocket chance. Definitely do not want the, um, the, the shield thing, because there's no projectiles being shot at us here, so. Nice, that was a good pyro ball. Okay, he's got 700 health left. We may die here, honestly. We may die here. Just hold on to this. It's hiding in its shell. You don't want to waste doing all this damage, you know. Okay. Nice. Good amount of damage here. Oh, what? That was a weird bounce. I think we're going to lose here, though. I'm not going to lie. I am my hardest here though. Okay, so it's hiding again here. Okay, we got a lot of ammo. Got a lot of ammo. We are just taking damage though. Oh, come on, 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 come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. I have 18 HP. Oh, I, I ended that with 3 HP. When hit, if HP is below 25%, gain Pyro Ball. Definitely want that. I'm trying to do a Pyro Ball build here. Just heal me up. Okay, can we recover? Because we definitely still want to try to win this, this game here, right? That is definitely still priority. Okay, we definitely want the uh, Shield Generator on this map so we don't take all this damage. Or the Absorbing Shield, I mean. Okay, yeah, just keep upgrading the Absorbing Shield. Faster shield recharge on it. Um, shotgun shot. More absorbing shield. A little bit risky though, because I don't know if I'm going to have the raw damage here. To kill all these skeletons? So maybe I was going for the wrong thing? I don't know. 
Yeah, we may just die right here. I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we're going to die right here. I think this is actually it. This is the end. This is the end here. This is the end. No way. This is just easily the end here. I guess they've got a chance to miss. No, there it is. <laughs> rip, rip, rip. Rip. But, but, we did, we did finally um, win a fight against the Frog King after burning uh, its tongue. So, uh, that's one of the hardest fights. Yeah, because you need the sustain from the projectiles and then the skeletons as well, for sure, for sure. So, um, honestly, I think this is a good stopping point, right? We, we got the achievement that we set out to do. I definitely think next time um, we probably try to do kill the wasp queen while two or more small wasps are still alive. I think we probably try to do all poison and see if we could complete a run with only one of the brick upgrades of just only being poison. I think that could definitely be something to uh, to try to unlock, you know, in the uh, future. But we have finally gotten revenge on the Frog King um, and getting, you know, the achievement for burning its tongue. So I'm going to say mission accomplished, even though we didn't win the run and get the other achievement. Um, there's definitely some other challenge runs that that will fit in as well. So as long as we keep making progress on these challenges, I'm happy. Like I said, it's giving us different things to do. Uh, just giving this game a lot more replayability than it you know, would have otherwise and stuff like that. So overall if you're watching after the fact on youtube you know i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys subscribe ring that bell like all the big boy youtubers say to be notified when more brick odyssey videos come out if there are some they'll be on the screen right next to me and if you guys are going to be grinding out some brick odyssey on your own i wish you guys luck and see you